All right. Oh, hi, Craig. Not seen you about recently. Uh, yeah, I've been really busy revising. I've got some revision classes later, actually. Can't wait till it's all over. Tell one. me about it. I used to offload onto Daryl during exams. Are you pet rat? <laughs> His little squeaks were a source of comfort. Oh. I sometimes wonder if that's why he committed suicide. Suicide? I mean, why else would you chew for an electric cable, knowing it was live? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Um, just a friend. Gotta go. Well, we should catch up again properly sometime. Yeah, I'd like that. Bye, Craig. Bye, then. The most dangerous thing you've done is help a granny cross the road. Oh, it's well exciting. Crooks everywhere. We're talking. Bank robbers, carjackers. I was talking to one of the lads at training, and there was this prison van in Humberside that crashed, and one of the inmates escaped. I mean, they think he's dead, but they've not found his body. You're not listening to me, are you? Yes. You're not. You're just on your phone all the time. Oh, Craig, you're a special. You're not Jason Bourne. And I've got more important things to deal with. Shouldn't you be at the clinic? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I was bored of being pale and interesting, so I thought, why not get a tan? <laughs> Made to see you, of course. Hi. Uh, can I help you? Oh, no, it's all right. This is my mate, Craig. Nathan, pleased to meet you. Same. So, um, why have you not been returning my calls? Oh, I've just been busy, that's all. Uh, blame me. She's been helping out here. In fact, I don't know what I would have done without her. Um, what are you doing tonight? Went to back to eat? No, I can't. I've made plans. My fault again, I'm afraid. Um, but I can call you and we can arrange something for another time. Promise? Promise. Well, <laughs> thanks for dropping by. See you around? Yeah. See you. Okay. Stalker alert. What? Well, you don't answer a couple of phone calls and he tracks you back here. Bit full on. Oh, he's just a mate. Bethany, I saw how he was looking at you. He's besotted. I can't say I blame him, but... Well, I would keep my distance if I were you. Hi, Mum. I was just about to ring you. No, I was. <laughs> no, I didn't see any fights, knives or guns. About the most exciting thing that happened was my boss had to arrest someone for directing traffic in his underwear. I don't know. Carmen Klein's a thing. No, he's dead fun to work with. I, I, everyone says I'm dead lucky to be working with Sarge. Uh, anyway, Mum, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Are you all right? Bethany? Talk to me. Tell me what happened. I don't want to. Leave me alone. Well, if you won't talk to me, you need to talk to your mum. Get off me! How did that happen? It was an accident. What sort of accident? I had a fight, OK? Who with? Was it Nathan? Has he done this to you? No! Well, who are you with, then? My mum, we had a row. I broke some glass. I accidentally caught Gary's arm. Well, is he all right? Dunno. I hope so, but that's why I can't go home, OK? Are you happy now? No, of course I'm not. I hate seeing you like this. Well, it's not your problem, is it? It is, because you're a mate. Now, come on. Where to? Hospital. You need to get that checked out. 